Hello, everyone. Welcome to Rika's podcast. This is actually the episode part two of the year-end special with my dear friends Chris and Evan. We are kind of looking back this year and talking about some fun moments. 皆さん、今日も Rika's podcast へお越しいただきありがとうございます。今回も前回に引き続きお友達の Chris と Evan をご紹介して。今年を振り返りながら楽しくお話ししています。I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Hi. So we are back. Yes, we're back. Yeah. The following morning,、uh, we、yes. had so much fun last night. What did we do? We went to a restaurant for dinner and lots of drinks, and we played spoons with toothpicks instead of spoons. <laughs>、um, and. Somebody lost the game, so they had to go and compliment the chef in English. That was fun. Yep, it was. It was, it was and then we <laughs> went to karaoke. So, ne,、mm-hmm. karaoke for two hours, and then we just. But this karaoke box or the building, it was supposed to be a. No, it used it to be. It used to be a love a hotel. A love hotel, <laughs> so it was a very strange <laughs> room. Yeah, a lot of. It was like, a, it was like the Frankenstein of rooms. It was. <laughs> It was just pieces of all different kinds of、mm. themes and patterns, and、mm. it was so mishmashed. <laughs> I just wonder if everybody can appreciate that no matter where you're sitting in this room, somebody at some point had sex there. <laughs>、yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <Yeah> . <laughs> Yeah, so some business went down. Enjoy that. Every, every square meter. <laughs> that、so、bench、ka. over there.、So、this big wide thing, this platform <laughs> that you know, seems like it's supposed to be a bed.、Mm-hmm. The bathroom. And,、mm-hmm. and there were too many mirrors, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love hotel. You gotta get all the good angles, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's good that they recycled it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, waste not. Yeah. <laughs> I, personally, I, I like the idea.、Mm. You know, it's just. Anybody who goes there to do karaoke also has to keep that in mind. <laughs> Maybe bring some hand、yeah. sanitizer, you know? <laughs> so, ne.、Uh, Anti, so. Antiviral spray, <laughs> alcohol wipes. Nakanaka o m o s h i r o i karaoke box de stane.、ね mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And then we were up until like what, two last night? Yeah.、Ne? Something like that. Ne.、Mm-hmm. Then we just finished our very good breakfast. Rika was gracious enough to provide everything. Yes, yes. <laughs> Bagels and English muffins and lettuce and cheese. It just happened to be like I just came back from Costco a few days ago and I have so many bagels that I, I very much appreciate that you helped eating. Helped eat I mean, the bread. I think I speak for both of us when I say it's our pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bagels are not easy to find in Miyazaki, so I will、so、take、uh, it. <laughs> so, so, that's why I'm part two to go to the kind of looking back on the year 2021 and、uh, kind of <laughs> talk about whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like the fun memories maybe we should talk about. I'm sure you have lots of fun memories. Yeah, I mean. Or funny moments. You know, whether, I guess, whether good or not necessarily bad, but I guess not good memories, because when you look back on them, they're all still kind of fond memories. Mm. 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 Uh, you know, sometimes panicky or bad situations are funny in retrospect. retrospect.、Uh, or frustrating,、mm-hmm. very frustrating events.、Mm. Now you can just laugh at it. Yeah. Because it's, it's gone by. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. For sure. Or maybe they will be repeated in the future. <laughs> in some people's cases. Mm. So, that's ne. So, Chris, you said that you had something funny to talk about. Are you ready? Sure. <laughs>、um, so. My Japanese mom, I guess maybe I should explain who that is. So I'll say about six years ago, I ruptured my left Achilles tendon、mm. while playing、uh, soccer and、mm. kickball with、uh, some friends. 
that I just met and uh, my Japanese mom at this point she'd only met me once and at this time she was in Osaka uh, visiting her her real son her biological son and her friends told her about what happened and then she proceeded to call me to find out if I was okay which I thought was weird because like lady I've met you once um, sure. but I was, you know, accepted the goodwill and, uh, she then proceeded to call all of her friends and coordinate them to make sure that I had food. <laughs> and when I say food, I mean like cooked meals mm. twice a day for like two weeks straight. Wow. Like she would call me and say, Hey, what do you want to eat? And I'd be like, <laughs> what do you mean? And, you know, and and then she would call somebody else, but hey, he said he wants this. He lives <laughs> here. Go, go, go bring it to him. Like she did that. Um, and so our relationship got uh, closer as a result of, of that. And, you know, here it is. I've been in Japan for eight years and she's been around for six or seven of them. Um, so, yeah. Now she's an older Japanese woman. Like typical Obachan with the the whole Obachan vibes, which means she can be uh, kind of uh, of pushy, but in a very loving way. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I recently mentioned that I'm gonna be going home, and I think she has she she heard it and she understands it but she hasn't quite accepted it <laughs> so in true obachan form instead of saying exactly what she wants she goes out of her way to come up with reason, come up with ways to get me to come to her house mm. like it would be much easier to just invite me <laughs> but instead she comes up with other reasons like for example my computer is broken come teach me how to use my computer mm. now the key behind this is uh i taught her how to use her computer several times um so like and i i mean for her for her her, her computer knowledge is almost non-existent so I had to teach her everything from like clicking and double clicking to you know and for her she wants to she basically uses YouTube and CookPad that's it <laughs> um, sounds like my mom <laughs> <laughs> so we've gone through how to use YouTube and how to use CookPad on several occasions one particular occasion um, I told her I said hey um, if you want to retain this knowledge because at this point, I've been at your at, at your house for like two hours trying to teach you this for the third time. Um, if you want to retain this knowledge, you need to practice every day. Mm. And she says, okay, I'll practice. So you promised? She's like, yep. <laughs> yeah, I told me this. And, and then I leave. And two weeks later, hey, can you come uh, help me with my computer? It's like, <sighs> Have you been practicing? Well, you know, I got busy and... <sighs> okay. So, on one particular day, I got particularly frustrated because she'd been asking me for like at like twice a week for the last month to come and help her with her computer. And I was like, okay. So I showed up. Let me get the computer out. And I said, give me a piece of paper. Mm. She gives me a blank piece of paper. I said, give me a marker out of marker big bold black sharpie I said okay and then i proceeded to write down how to use the computer in japanese just so you know how frustrated i was i wrote it in japanese kanji and everything wow. okay so i said number one check your internet it's in japanese <laughs> i even drew the icons for things that she should look for so like the internet icon you know, Drew the, like, said, hey, uh, this is your internet network. This is your, your wife by password. Check this, this, and this. You know, step-by-step -step directions. Number two, YouTube. The entire process of using YouTube. Mm. Starting from double-click on this icon from the desktop. 
tap on this. I, I even drew the search bars. <laughs> you know, uh, click on this, type what you want to see, hit enter. Make sure that the little icon on the bottom says, you know, English or writing in, in, in hiragana or katakana mm -hmm. or kanji. Mm -hmm. You know, all of that. That's number two. Number three, cook pet. Same thing. Drew the cook pet icon. <laughs> drew the search bars. Drew the back, but like everything. Wrote it out in Japanese. Drew the icons and said, okay, here it is. Now, you do it. And we stayed there and went step by step, made sure that she could go through, follow the directions, Go through YouTube, go through Cookpad. She's like, oh, so I click here. What do the directions say? Oh, it says, hmm, and, you know, search bar, click, click here. So click here. Yes. Here. Yes. Here. Yes. <laughs> here. So, oh, okay. So she, you know, types it in. So let's say, for example, we, to, to, to help her out, I gave her the example of searching for like kangaroo videos. So let's say we want to write it, you know, kangaroo. All right. So we type in kangaroo, hit enter, click on a video. We're looking at pictures of or videos of kangaroos. Great. Says, okay. What if I want to? What if I want to look at a, a different video? What do the directions say? <laughs> so you click here. Yep. Okay. You click here. Here. Yes. Here. Here. Yes, here. Okay. And then I type I type the, the name of the, the video. Yes. <laughs> she types the name of the video. I said, um she said, do 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 I have to erase what I wrote before before I write in something new? I said, do you want to look at kangaroo spring videos? <laughs> or do you just want spring videos? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so she proceeds to delete spring and then she looks at me dead in my eyes and says, how do I delete the kangaroo? <laughs> you literally, like, how did you erase the spring part? What did you press to get rid of the spring part? Oh, that, yes! You used that to erase everything! It's easy, it's backspace. You just did it four seconds ago. So, we get through the entire thing, like, two and a half hours later. I'm like, okay, remember, practice, and then I go home. All right, I'm thinking, we're good. I wrote down directions. Everything's right there. It's in Japanese. It's in big print. She doesn't even need her glasses to, to read it. The icons are written. Everything is going to be fine. Great. I'm good. I don't have to worry about anything concerning computers at all for at least another month. I'm set. This is what I thought. You ever been wrong before? I was wrong. The very next day. The very next day. I get home from work. I'm like, you know what? I want some steak and I want some umeshu. Don't ask me why that's a combination. I was like, I want some steak. I want some umeshu. So I went and I got myself some steak. Bought a new bottle of umeshu, because I didn't have any at home. Cook everything, it's delicious. I'm two drinks in, mm. and then my phone rings. No. <laughs> it's my Japanese mom. I'm like, oh no. I was just at your house yesterday. You don't have a reason to call me. You don't have a good reason to call me. <laughs> Pick up, hello? What's your machine? And she proceeds to tell me that now there's a problem with her computer. Mm. She clicked on YouTube. She followed the instructions, and YouTube is giving her an error message. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so while I'm on the phone and she's trying to explain this error message, I get onto my own computer and look up YouTube. Mm. YouTube's fine on my computer. Mm -hmm. Get on my phone. YouTube app works fine, too. So it's not the YouTube application. It's not the YouTube website. It's something wrong on her side. So now I'm like, well, I can't go over there now because uh, I've been drinking. <laughs> so, all right, you know what? I'll, I'll come over tomorrow after work. Yeah. Now, I might have explained this to some people. Um, I don't want to see anybody after work normally. Like, unless I make specific plans to do something, mm -hmm. specifically something that I feel like was, is going to give me energy, I don't want to see anybody mm -hmm. after work. 
But now I got to go to after work mm-hmm. to, to go fix this computer, mm-hmm. which I fixed five or six times in the past. Mm-hmm. So that's okay. So I go after work. Get to her house after a long day of, of, of teaching um, with some unruly kids. It was at one of my not so fun schools. <laughs> Like they're fun, but they're not like as much fun as the other ones. They mm-hmm. they take a lot more doing, mm-hmm. I'll say. Um, so I've had a you know, not not necessarily a rough day, but a, a, a not great day at work. Mm. Go to her house. She's got company, and now company wants to talk to me while I'm trying to 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 handle this computer thing. And now he's quizzing me on my Japanese or my English grammar knowledge. I'm like, bro, real talk. They said, I don't want to talk to you, man. <laughs> like, really? I don't, I don't have it in me right now. I'm, I'm here trying to fix this computer again. I don't want to talk to anybody right now. And I really don't want to answer Jap- English grammar questions. <laughs> I'm a native English speaker. These aren't things that I necessarily have to know. I'm glad you know them. Cool. Go talk to her. <laughs> so, first thing I do is... What I told her, check the internet. Just click on the icon. There's no internet. Why is there no internet? Go check the portable Wi-Fi mm-hmm. that I, you know, that she has. That I told her, don't unplug. Don't turn it off. Turn it on. Plug it up. Don't touch it from now on, mm-hmm. ever. There's no reason for you to touch it. So I go check the portable Wi-Fi that I told her not to touch. Don't unplug it. Don't turn it off that portable wi-fi i pick it up and i notice it's not plugged in Mm. and it's off (laughs) that would explain your internet thing (laughs) so i plug it in and i turn it on and boom there's internet Mm -hmm. and then i click on youtube and that error message that she was describing disappear Mm. because now there's internet Mm -hmm. and so when her guests leave to say hey um fix your computer uh remember your portable wi-fi you know, the thing I told you not to unplug, not to turn it off. You know, that portable Wi-Fi, the thing where your internet comes from, that portable Wi-Fi, the thing that I told you don't touch anymore, that thing, it was unplugged when I got here. She said, oh, it was unplugged? Oh, it was off? Oh, oh, really? It was off? Oh, somebody, somebody must have unplugged it. Somebody. Somebody? Yeah, my, my husband must have unplugged it. I said, lady... Your husband leaves every time I show up. And he doesn't talk at all. I have never seen this man with any technology more advanced than a fishing rod. And you mean to tell me, after not seeing or hearing anything that went on in this room concerning your computer, he came down the stairs out of his cave of wonders, came to this obscure corner of the living room, found this one box that he knew for a fact would mess you up if he did something to it and decided, yeah, I'm going to unplug this. <laughs> Your husband did that? Really? Your hu- Really? Really? <laughs> <sighs> said, okay, so it's fixed now. I'm going to go. And then she immediately says, well, can we go over this again? I'm like, ah! I don't want to go over anything anymore. <laughs> you have the directions. <laughs> Follow the directions. <laughs> I wrote them down just for you. <laughs> so an hour later, I get to go home. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like she just wants to make excuses to see you. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds yeah, like to me. I but I, I feel like there are easier ways to do it. Yeah. Easier, less frustrating <laughs> ways. To, like, look. Just invite me over. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Hey, what are you doing this week? Uh, I think I'm free on Wednesday night. You want to have dinner together? Sure, let's have It's easy! (laughs) You don't have to, like, unplug your stuff and then blame it on your your poor husband. (laughs) And Pudol, did I do that? And like, oops. And like, hold up your laptop and coffee drips out of it. And like, so what happened? Oh, uh... Fairies dripped coffee on my on my on my laptop. That's what happened. Like, come on, man, really? Just invite me over. You said all that in Japanese to her. I mean, does she speak any English? Let's 
just say no. She doesn't really speak English. <laughs> All this is happening in Japanese. Okay, okay. Now, granted, in real life, it's not exactly as dramatic as I'm going to put it. <laughs> but these are the things that go on in my head oh, when yeah, it's of happening. <laughs> of course, yeah. You know, it's like, lady! <laughs> you, like, you... Re- you, you really want me to believe that your husband unplugged your portable <laughs> Wi-Fi? He has absolutely no reason to do it. <laughs> Make him the scapegoat, you know? I'm saying. <laughs> like, oh, to, wow. like, he legit... Like, this, this would... On his part, this would have been like a, a, a surgical... A precision surgical strike. Like, he literally came... He didn't, you know, give your computer a virus. He didn't, you know, go in and start... He didn't, like, factory reset it. He came down, found the one thing that he knew for a fact you wouldn't check. Even though it was on the directions that are clearly printed for your viewing pleasure. Mm -hmm. And unplugged it. (laughs) Didn't take it. Didn't hide it. Nope. Just unplug it. Didn't replace it with anything else. There's a whole bunch. It's on a power strip. There's like four empty sockets. Just like, nope, just unplug it. <laughs> like your husband did that? Really? So I can imagine if you got to the point where you actually asked him, like, hey, did you un- unplug the Wi-Fi? He'd be like, what for a school? That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even certain he would talk to me. Like, I think he would just be like, <laughs> shake his head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I have many stories like that. Yeah. Love 本当に. that woman, but my goodness. <laughs> Comes at a price. <laughs> uh, it's also funny that she doesn't want to accept the fact that you're leaving. Yeah, I, I honestly think that's what it is. <laughs> like she she legit so uh-huh. for example, I know with corona, mm-hmm. depending on the, the vaccine you got mm-hmm. Um, there's one vac. I forget the name of it, but there's one vaccine that had um, two. There's one vaccine that had three doses. Mm. I think the other ones had two, and there was one that had one. Oh, yeah. Pfizer yeah. vaccine yeah. has yeah. two, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. after six months, you're supposed mm-hmm. to get a booster. Mm-hmm. But every time I go to her house, she says, mm-hmm. uh, "Did you get your third shot?" And I'm like, "No, I did. I didn't. I didn't get the third shot. Um, my the vaccine that I got only has two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's like. No, it had three. It's Pfizer, right? I'm like, yeah, I got the Pfizer vaccine. Yep, so it's supposed to be two doses. The The booster's at six months, so I still have three more months. Mm-hmm. And she's like, no, you got you to get three. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll look it up, <laughs> check it out. And then she's like, are you, are you sure you're, you're going to be able to go home? I'm like, um, so getting out of japan is not a problem it's quite easy they'll let anybody leave (laughs) they just won't let you come back unless you're a native japanese person Mm, mm, because those rules Mm. are weird um she's like ah but corona might make it difficult huh (laughs) i'm like she really doesn't want to (laughs) desperate man yeah yeah it sounds really desperate and that's really (laughs) sweet of her it is yeah it is uh-huh. Like my my personal favorite is <laughs> so <laughs> I went to her house for dinner yet again had to fix her computer this is very recently and then she's like so what are you planning to do for New Year's and I'm like um you know stuff New Year's isn't really as as important to foreigners or americans as it is for japanese people and she's like ah i'm gonna be so lonely because no one's coming and <laughs> this person's not coming because they have this going on and this person's not coming because they have some family issues and and my son isn't coming from osaka because corona and ah i'm sad i'm gonna be so lonely and i go well uh, i guess i could come over in the <laughs> evening it's like, oh, I'm so happy now. Who does she this? I'm like, all right, cool. You know, it's great. And then she's like, yeah, and maybe my cousin will come over. And, and this person oh, will, no. will probably come over. And this person's coming too. And it's going to be a great time. I'm like, wait a minute. Where did all these people come from? Like, you just told me no one's coming. They're just popping out of the bushes. Like, oh, the last time has come. Like, 
It's like, <laughs> you know, you could just be like, hey, yeah, um, would you, like to you want to come over for New Year's? <laughs> you could just say yeah. that. It'd be so much easier. Not not all the sh- schadenfreude. Like, you don't have to put on a show for it. Just, just ask. Almost, I... But that would be easy. I'd we love can't to see easy, you guys right? talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> being very interesting to watch. <laughs> oh, that's not interesting at all. It's like a sitcom. Yeah, it's like a sitcom. It's like a comedy show. Hey, that's it, that's it. I feel like it, it would only be interesting if you have the... You have the, the actual conversations that we have mm. followed by the actual, like, the, the mental dialogue that's really going on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's you, right. Yeah. You have to have <laughs> those two juxtaposed <laughs> so ne, so for, it to yeah. be, for it to be funny. Yeah, very entertaining for us. <laughs> sure. For sure. I have many stories of, of, of my oh. Japanese mom. Wow. <laughs> that's for later podcasts. Yeah, <laughs> I guess, yeah. Uh, at least her heart's in the right place. <laughs> she's a she's a wonderful human being. Mm-hmm. Very mm-hmm. sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, like she, I don't want to call her a hoarder, but she has like lots of just stuff. <laughs> Specifically, f- like if you ever if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, <laughs> and you need food, mm. that's the house you go okay, to. She okay. has food all over the place <laughs> all over the like place like literally all over so for example so we'll have dinner in the in the dining room uh, right and all around the dining room there's food like she cooks food and then for there's like two or three bags of of, of rice that somebody's given her and over uh-huh. in this corner is like a box of just mekon that you know one of her farmer friends gave her mm. and then on the table mm. there's like three or four different kinds of chocolate like big seventy <laughs> percent cacao you know bars okay, yeah. and every time I go she gives me the leftovers mm. and then as we're walking to the to the door mm. she stops by random places <laughs> like hey you you need a pineapple here's a pineapple <laughs> <laughs> and she like from from the dining room to the door. She's just grabbing food from all over and just like giving it to me. Wow! It's like every time I'm like, okay, yeah, no, I'm 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 good, I'm okay. It's like you you really don't need this box of tomatoes. Like, <laughs> like where did you get a box of tomatoes? Why do you have a box of tomatoes sitting on your stairs? <laughs> like, yeah, uh, sweet woman. Yeah, yeah, very much so. If you're behind the TV, food. Next to the toilet seat, food. Like, it's like. So, going on. But, sounds like a typical ne, yeah. Japanese yeah. mom. The kanji. Mm. So. Mm. Yeah, Japanese moms are serious about they make sure the kids are fed business. So. I mean, every all moms time. are like that, I think. but Yeah, every time I go to my mom and they're like, you know, she's like looking for some stuff to give me, but uh, <laughs> I think I have. All the food I need and ne. Eh, the Evan wa. Saikin no omoshiroi Ah. Um. Well, uh, I let's say I I feel like I've noticed that you know giving people, well, especially strangers, uh compliments is an adventure. Mm. In itself, and I've learned that especially in Japan, mm. we're not uh, used to getting compliments. Yeah, people and people <laughs> react very interestingly mm. to compliments because, like you said, I guess people aren't used to it, mm. and especially if it's somebody you don't know, mm. and especially if that somebody is a foreigner, <laughs> then it might be a little shocking. Uh, and uh, I mean, even me, if I've received a compliment from someone I don't know here in Japan. I have this moment, I'm like, where's the hidden camera? <laughs> like, what's happening? Huh? What? Oh, for real? Okay. Well, okay, okay. Uh, but, uh, <coughs> yeah, I, uh, you know, so, but, you know so it feel, always feels good to get a compliment no matter what, mm-hmm. I think, mm-hmm. even if you don't understand where it's coming from. But uh, not, too, not too long ago, I went to... Uh, uh, well, at the train station, uh, there is a Starbucks, and I had a drink there. But like, you know, if you park your car at the train station, you know, you get a parking ticket, and they have machines in the building where you can validate your parking. 
So your first two hours are free mm. instead of having to pay. So if you want to do that, you have to go to a little machine that's on a desk. And always at one of those desks, there's an employee of mm. the adjoining bookstore. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, as you do, walking with my little ticket, putting it in the machine, beep, and then you get it. And then the clerk usually just like half looks at you, half continues mm -hmm. what they're doing. And they're like, oh, you know, like, all right. Uh, but, you know, uh, this one particular time, you know, I validated my parking ticket. And, uh, you know, the girl said, thank you. And I looked up and very, very nice looking girl. And she had these really, I liked her glasses, right? The, the, you know, the lenses were round lenses, which, you know, I think, I mean, that's my favorite glasses shape. Uh, I don't wear glasses, by the way. Uh, ow. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, but uh, I liked her glasses and I thought they looked good. And so kind of without thinking, I just told her, like, oh, I think your glasses look really good on you. Mm. You know, I was like, oh, mm -hmm. mm. and then, but you know, normally if somebody says that to you, maybe you think, oh, thank you. Mm. Or, oh, really? Oh, wow. That's very nice. Mm. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know if, you know, maybe this, I don't, I don't know what goes on in, in this girl's mind, you know, but as soon as she heard that, and we made eye contact, uh, I mean, you would have thought I told her that I wanted to marry her or something, <laughs> because she, like, she clutched her chest and, like, physically moved her body, like, like, kind of hunched down, and it was just, there was an, an audible, like, gasp. She was like, <gasps> and, like, <laughs> and, like, clutched herself, and... He gave her a heart attack. Yeah, and then she, like, didn't move. <laughs> And then, no, then, and as a result, I didn't move because I'm worried. I'm like, oh no, what have I done? And so now we're both just standing there, frozen, uh, in in time. And I looked at her, and I'm like, uh, are you okay? Is it? Are you alright? I'm sorry. I don't. Huh? And <laughs> and by the way, I was like, that what it's called. I don't. But then she didn't say anything. She just oh. stood there, still clutching herself. <laughs> Just kind of looking at me, I guess, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, have a nice night. Um, <clears throat> uh, what's that? I hear someone calling my name, and I just walked really fast out of the station. And I'm like, what in the what? Hold on, what? And like, is she really okay? I don't know. Is she gonna go to her doctor? Like, what's going on? Like. Uh, <laughs> You're going to go back to the train station. She's still going to be there. Yeah, she's like frozen. <laughs> Clutching her chest. And I'm, and I'm waiting. And there's going to be like a little plaque next to her. Oh. And they have it like museums next to sculptures. It's like woman, Japanese woman receives compliment. 2021. Unknown artist. <laughs> just, <laughs> this way of someone going to install a frame around her. And I was like, what just happened? Uh, it blew my mind. And so I mean... And on occasion, I've given random people compliments. Yeah. Because uh, that's know, what you usually do in the states. It's it's really normal. Mm. I you mean, do too. Yeah. And, mm -mm. Random I mean, people. It's complimenting yeah. on whatever they're wearing. Or yeah. Whatever. It ha it happens a lot. Well, mm. I don't say it happens a lot, but it's like much more accepted. Mm. Like you can just, hey, I really like your dress. Mm. Hey, I really like those glasses. Mm. Yo, your hat is awesome. Yeah. And people just oh, thank you, and yeah. I just you know you just move on. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. Big. Yeah, I mean, even, I mean, to follow up on that, the last time I went out to eat, uh, I mean, of course, everybody's wearing masks, so you can't really tell, but I could tell that this particular server always smiled, like, very broadly every time she spoke and stuff, so when I was leaving, I was like, you have a very kind smile, and... <laughs> She like stuttered, and she's. Like, oh, I, 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 I was like, oh no! I'm like, I did it again! Oh no! Like, I've broken her! And I was like, oh no! So you should learn how to use this power for good. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning into a super villain, not a superhero. Short circuiting women all over the place. Oh, no. pay them a compliment they're not ready for. No. 
Yeah, sometimes I teach my students how to compliment each other in English, and then so I tell them like, "Oh, I like your shoes. I like your bag.、Mm. Your you look nice in pink and things like that." And then at the end of the lesson, I will have them like mingle around the room and complimenting each other. Oh, sure. The students, the students, and then so they can compl give compliments fine because that's what what we we've been studying. And then so they go like, "I like your shoes." It's like, "Oh yeah, they were so so cheap." <laughs> <laughs> on sale, fifty percent off, and then they never really even modest accept, about that. Yeah, even modest about whatever the complimenting was. Like, you just say thank you. I'm glad you like him. Or,、uh, but they're still like, I mean, like English wise, that's fine for them. But it's just a cultural thing, I guess.、Sure. Maybe they just want to be modest all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I get it. But so I, I think my my favorite. My favorite kinds of people are the ones that go against convention,、mm. Mm. so or go against tradition、mm. in in that、mm. manner. So, mm. Mm. I went to a dinner party one time,、mm. and、uh, a friend of mine made a, a a chocolate cake, and this this cake was amazing.、Mm. And I made sure to compliment her. I was like, "Yo, th this cake is is really really good. Like it's delicious." She's like. Yes, I know. I'm very good, and I was like, <laughs> "This is why we're friends." <laughs> that right there. She takes pride in her cake. Man. Same, man. That. Yeah. yeah that's、uh, that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. This cake was good. Yeah. It's because I'm awesome. <laughs> that's very good.、Mm, yeah, I was talking with one of my students who was at the party last night, actually.、Mm -hmm. Kimio, yes, <laughs> I just say my name, but but she is so Japanese when it comes to giving gifts, I guess. So I think it was last year Christmas, yeah, and she gave me, <laughs> and she gave me a box of cookies, yeah. That she, I think she bought at the store. But anyway, so she said, oh, this is some, yeah. They we we usually say this is really something small. This is nothing special. Right, right. I understand that, and then even in English, they would you would say that sometimes, right?、Oh, yeah. And then, but in Japanese, it's much more <laughs> than that. And then she said, I was very surprised. As a Japanese, I was surprised what she said because she said, oh, this is just like booger, booger, <laughs> <A> booger. <laughs> yeah, I gave you boogers. Booger. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> oh wow! So I said, I told her, I have never heard of that. <laughs> For good reason. Yeah. So I got some boogers. <laughs> yeah. If I hope you enjoy. I mean, you know. So I also learned Japanese the first time. I mean, on the same on the same token, if I gave a gift to someone like, hey, this is nothing special, just like a booger, they'd be like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. What do you? Huh? Did you did you just blow your nose? Is that like, what what happened? Like. I think it's changing a little by little. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. As far as I know, but yeah,、mm. some people just take、yeah. it to the next level. So, so like us, nothing. This is literally garbage. I took yeah, out of the dumpster. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah, they used to say like there was a term in Japanese like this is just a okuchi yogoshi. Okuchi is mouth, right?、Mm -hmm. Yogoshi is to kind of mess mess up your mouth.、Mm -hmm. So which means that it's just a little sweet. Some I just coughed up. <laughs> so, the you eat that more, this man. But the most I can, um, um, I don't really say that anymore. Anymore? Just, well, I used to maybe a little bit. Because, um, this is delicious, so I'll give it. I really like it, so I hope you like it too.、So. Sure, yeah. Because I feel like if I give someone something, like I'm. I'm totally for being modest about it,、mm. but I also don't want it to make it sound like it's something undesirable. Mm, so 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 you know? so 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 so. Like, like it doesn't really fuck up your appetite if you say poker. <laughs> <No. longer>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we said about the cookies yesterday. Huh? Like, that's what I said about the cookies yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't come in like, oh, I. Here, here, here. I said no. You're so These proud of those are, cookies. Well, I mean, because I was, yeah, but it's yeah, like I brought you the most. Dangerous、yeah. cookies in all of Miyazaki. <laughs> They're like crack. <laughs> Enjoy them. I'm sure you will. You will come back and ask me for more. Oh yeah. And oh, they did. Those were really good. So you don't eat these and drive because you will be intoxicated by good sleep. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, 
I don't know, like, you, you know, I don't feel like you, you necessarily have to make it, like, a huge deal, uh, cool. but it's like, you don't have, oh, I, this, 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 you know, you, this forlorn hope in your eyes when you hand over, it's like, I got you a gift, here, have a gift, that's it, <laughs> I got you something. So simple. Yeah. No need for the, the complex, you know complex strategy behind making it seem like it was nothing and then the person <laughs> being so happy because it wasn't in fact snot or boogers that you gave them but you know country ma'am cookies so, you know like so. I got you something alright thank you I, I'm really I, I, I appreciate the gift yeah <laughs> yeah people are funny <laughs> people are funny for sure hmm in a weird way, like, because it always astounds me when I experience those situations, but in a weird way, I kind of don't want it to change, it, mm. just because it so constantly ne. reminds me so that okay. I'm in another culture. Right, right. Uh, so it's kind of 50-50 in my mind. So, 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 so. Uh, mm. Maybe there's just a, you know, a balance. One time it's how I'm used to it, one time it's yeah. Japanese. and. That's Exactly how I feel like whenever see, like see I see my students saying thank you with a bow, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I really don't want to change that because that's so sweet. Thank you, going like that all the time. So, mm. I thought it was really cool when I left the office on on I want to say the Tuesday Tuesday um, Tuesday evening. Mm. I did the traditional Japanese yo yo toshi o mukate kudasai, mm. you know, tsukare sama de shita, mm. sakuni shitoshimasu, then all that. Mm. Um, and and then Kacho stood up to greet me on the way out, and mm. I, you know, said the same thing to him, and we did the, you know, the the whole the the bow, and he kind of went to like the thirty degree, so I had to make sure I get like <laughs> lower than him because yeah. he's you know the big boss, <laughs> you know. And then he reached out to shake my hand. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> He's shaking my hand. Um, after he, the bow? Yeah. It was, well, let me not say it was after the bow. It was after the first bow. Okay. Because he also bowed and looked at me while he was shaking my hand on the second one. So I was just surprised he was shaking my hand. Um, but, yeah. I guess kind of on that token, like, maybe because it's so much part of the culture for a lot of Japanese people to give mm. things. I don't know if you maybe say it's out of obligation or if it's just what you're used to, mm. but like, you know, like, like things like omiyage culture and mm. stuff like that, or just, oh, you know, I wasn't here yesterday, so here's something for you. Right. And I'm like, or what blows my mind yeah. is if someone's absent because they have to attend, like, family member's funeral mm. and then they give us mm. snacks mm. I'm like we need to be giving you snacks mm. because yeah. you're the one who had the bad situation <laughs> and mm. so stuff like that it's it's always surprising to me how if you flip it back on them mm. they're always surprised so you know like if I give something to them mm. uh, they're like what what is huh? yeah. what, huh? <laughs> what is this no, no way and I'm like you do this guy to, to you do this normally all the time so to other man. people so um, it's always surprising to me how. Tashikani. Yeah, you gotta remember, in their heads, you're not one of them yet. Well, I guess that's true. You know, mm. they don't expect these things of you. I guess, but. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like the omiyage culture too, but it's just never ending, though. That is true. If I give something to someone, and then they will give me something back all the time like they I feel like I'm pressuring them <laughs> so <laughs> you could you could be an evil villain with that mm. so like pretend to go somewhere mm. and get some like really really cheap omiyage and just you know but make it look like it's expensive and give it out to, to people <laughs> and then they them that they have to return it now so now they have to get you something and it's probably going to be more expensive <laughs> you can play the long con <laughs> <laughs> Or you with your your compliment ability, you could use that for good. Like let's say like somebody's crossing the street, but a car's coming, like hey, and they look over and like, 
I like your shoes and go <gasps> and then car goes past <laughs> without hitting them look he saved their life just kidding I don't like your shoes go away <laughs> and, oh okay and just continue walking didn't want you to die but <laughs> no I don't say I just, just give them a compliment freeze them fair, stun fair. them wait for the danger to pass and then okay Goodbye. <laughs> My work is done. Exactly. <laughs> That's what it is. Walk off, because that is what heroes do. Yeah. Yeah. It's in everyday life. Something funny happens all the time. Yeah, and, and a lot of times you don't even realize it until after. So, 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 you know? so. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> You're like, wait, did that really happen? What? So, so I got that, man. Yeah, absolutely. And what, what about you? Do you have any, any moments? Yeah, any anything. I have so many of them that I forgot. Like I ask my students what new all the time in the beginning of the lesson, and they give me so many funny stories. They're more entertaining than watching movies or drama. So. <laughs> Maybe I don't need Netflix anymore. Dramatic. But I cannot really think of anything right off the bat. Sure. <laughs> and you know, what do they say? They often say truth is stranger than fiction. So, yeah, like that time that you went snowboarding and then found me, a new student. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. That was so weird. You want to tell us? Do you, you want me to tell it? You, you tell. You tell. So. In four minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Within four minutes. So I went to I went to Oita with uh, a German friend of mine. We went snowboarding, um, or in her case, skiing, and I'm on the snow lift, and the dude was sitting next to me. And he started chatting me up, and we were talking and found out like, okay, he's he's he lives in in Nobeoka. I'm like, yeah, oh, but our... that ski resort was in Oita. In Oita, yeah. yeah. Mm. So it was kind of a very far. serendipitous mm. to find somebody who lives close to where I live, mm, and, mm. you know, in the, in the same place, and we're snowboarding. So we're talking and everything. It's like, yeah, I wanna I wanna work on my English, and I'm like, well, you live in Nobeoka. I have a friend who lives in Nobeoka. She has her own, you know, English, you know, school teaches classes she's amazing she has the best english of any japanese person i've ever met in my life she's outstanding i recommend her rika's english cafe youtube it google it <laughs> go to her he said okay i will um so i see him a couple more times going down the the hill and everything and then i told rika hey i met somebody um you might have a new student i don't know but you know i i threw you i put your name out there and she says, okay, cool. And then later on, I found out, like, yeah, he's actually one of her students now. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he came right after that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just said, like, after all the snowboarding and stuff, he just Googled my name and he found me. And he came to my class. He loved it. And then he was my student for a year or so. He had to move to Chiba. Mm -hmm. I think he's in Chiba mm -hmm. now. Hopefully listening to this podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so funny, so random that you guys met. In the middle of no, I mean, like it's in the ski resort, but still, mm -hmm. you happen to sit next to each other, right? Mm -hmm. In the lift. Yep. Nah, <laughs> Worked out pretty good. Mm. It's a miracle. Like meeting people is just like a miracle, for sure. I agree. Nah. Mm. Okay, well, it's been about 15 minutes. So. <laughs> We gotta find you a different outro. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been 15 minutes, we gotta go now. <laughs> Some music, like some part, like a, a part, like a, a, a trademark phrase so, that you can use. Yeah. Like, so a sign off, you know? So yeah. Mm. Like how newscasters, like back in the day, used to do. Uh -huh. They would always have that, like that one line they would say before uh -huh. the camera pans out. What should I say then? Uh. <laughs> uh I give you my goodbye guns. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, don't do that. ということで <laughs> <laughs> E even those guns are illegal in Japan. <laughs> True. <laughs> gotta be careful. Uh, uh. Uh, and you're like, well, this is this has been Rika's podcast. Thanks for listening, and uh, s uh, stay fresh, all you beautiful people out there. Oh. Or I mean, uh, 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 
<laughs> well, it's been fun talking to you guys. <laughs> the Likewise. end of the year show, I guess, part two is over now, and then we will be getting ready to go for the mochi pounding. Yeah. ましょう。美味しいもちをついていただきましょう。はい、では皆さん、have a happy new year。Have a wonderful new year and may it bring you fortune and favor。And Evan's compliments。Yes, be on the lookout for those。はい、thanks for listening。Bye。よいお年を。